Hey guys, honestly, I'm just as surprised as you are. Like how the frick did two 18 year olds make $7,000 in a month from selling stuff online? It still phases me. You can make a single dime online by like hitting a freaking few keys on a keyboard. So in today's video, I'm going to expose myself. I had the opportunity last month to launch an apparel line with a YouTuber named Natalie Lin. I do a ton of e-commerce. I've been obsessed with entrepreneurship since I was like nine years old. So I thought it was fitting to help a creator with the business side of YouTube. In this video, I'm going to try my best to reveal the numbers that we did get out of this launch. I kind of feel nervous about talking about money sometimes, so bear with me as I try to chug my chocolate milk. If you haven't already, make sure you grab a snack. This video is going to be a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, grab a snack or a beverage. In this case, chocolate milk. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't find matcha green tea latte. Okay, so just to jump right into it, what was our goal going into this apparel line? Our expectation for this launch was to sell 16 units. And like, what the heck? We sold 100. What? 100 units times $70, which is like the product's average cost, comes to around $7,000 total. So to break down exactly how we did this in a short time span, I will share you guys our process. Make sure you guys watch part one and part two if you wanna know how we built the product. Today we're talking about how we marketed our brand. So the first and most important step that I'm going to talk about is called a funnel. A funnel basically breaks down how to get people to buy your product. It starts off with the top, middle, and then bottom of the funnel. It's exactly how it sounds like, right? If you pour water, it starts off with a lot and then it filters down to the bottom. And we did that exactly with our customers. The top of the funnel typically is a YouTube video, blog posts, social media content to get people to be aware of the product. The middle of the funnel is typically people who land on the website, add to cart, sign up for your email newsletter or phone number. And that's what the middle is for, is people who typically are interested but haven't bought yet. And the bottom of the funnel are people who purchase and are customers. If you're interested to start your own online business, you can literally use this funnel for anything to drive traffic. You need to basically have a large enough top funnel. The biggest issue I've seen with so many stores is they don't have a big enough awareness. Natalie is a YouTuber that has been making content for like almost like six years on YouTube. And she's basically did this unpaid for six years making freaking art. And I definitely resonate. I was someone who made content when I was like nine years old and for like almost eight years on YouTube, didn't get paid a single dime. And it wasn't necessarily about the money. It was about making content we really, really love and sharing a message that we cared about. But through the process of making content for free, you actually are able to generate awareness. And that is what we did for Natalie on really planned. She already built that since day one. And I feel like, oh, Natalie just texted me. We've been trying to like not make this video I think as long as possible because I think a lot of the times people take numbers and revenue and like how much money we make as people who are selfish and entitled. So we were really worried making this video to be honest because I don't want to come off that way. I hope this actually just helps you start a business. Boring. Hey guys, so I know this is kind of random, but I wanted to say we finally opened up internship applications for my startup PBJ. PBJ is a text messaging software, and if you're looking to get experience in marketing or technology, go check the link in the description box. We are currently hiring. I honestly don't know why I'm drinking this milk. It's not really that good, but it's like... So the biggest way I see you can market your product is through free content on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And I think that's why it's super important to leverage your personal brand. If you don't know how to grow on YouTube, it literally is really simple. Guys, the best tip I have if you're trying to grow online or grow that top of the funnel awareness is make a hundred shit videos. Yeah, I know you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm telling you when you experiment or make videos you don't necessarily think are perfect, what you're gonna find is you're gonna be A-B testing. And marketing and business, when you're A-B testing, it means you're basically throwing as many chances as possible to get it right. You literally only need to be right once, so do not be afraid to fail 99 times. Like I would say the biggest leverage and honestly like unfair advantage we have was that Natalie literally made so many videos build awareness and content around her brand. Similar to at least my journey and my experience, like when I was nine years old making doll content, I had no perception of making money. And I think that was the best part. In the weirdest way, you need to be able to not care about money in the very beginning to focus on growth and scale, which is very contradictory advice. But when the time is ready, you're gonna be able to focus on the middle of the funnel. So our strategy to convert people that are her viewers to customers is to capture your lead. You can do this on the website with emails. What we find works really best is text message marketing and DMing. So if you guys are curious about that, I do have a tool called PBJ. It's my software that basically captures text message leads. So your audience on 
Instagram or YouTube can convert into customers. I won't pitch you guys too, too much about it, but it is a software we've been building and we used it for Natalie's launch. So with the middle of the funnel, you can really do anything you want. It's all about converting those people that watch your videos into people that are contacts. It's so important because let me tell you, marketing literally takes nine to 11 times before people purchase. You need to follow up. You need to send a promo. You need to be able to send Instagram stories. You can't just post one video and let it chill. One of the biggest mistakes that I feel like a lot of past launches that I have led in made was not enough promotion, not enough follow up. And if you genuinely believe in your product, it's not going to come off spammy. We did it in creative ways. One idea for a promotion is Natalie made like a short film about her journey on a road trip. And then the product or apparel that came with it was the map. So it actually made sense. And it wasn't trying just to slap a name on a t-shirt. The biggest reason why I felt like I had success at some point with this launch is because we weren't trying to sell a product. We were trying to sell an experience. It came from the website, the messaging, everything was thought out. And I can't explain this in one video, but if you guys do want to see Natalie's creative process, she's literally a beast. I think she's really creative and she knows what's more important than money. Like, although this video is literally all about money, that is like the zero motivation we have at all for business. Like I could care less about making a fucking debt. Well, I actually would like to pay my bills, but I could care less about having a million dollars in my bank account. So yeah, I know this video is all about money technically and you probably what you came for, but that is one of the least motivating things for I believe both of us. I can speak for example, I don't freaking care if I make profit, if my product doesn't help people or bring an experience. Like that's what's so more important to me than making money. And now to contradict that statement, let's talk about the money. So, so for our funnel, I'm gonna share the numbers that we have for this launch, like you've been waiting for. The top of the funnel is our awareness. We had around 11,000 web visitors on the website in a span of a month. Out of 11,000 people, 910 people added to cart. These are people that DM'd us, messaged us, texted us, or was interested but did not purchase yet. Out of the 910 people in the middle of the funnel, 106 of them converted to the bot. So 106 purchase total in the span of November is what we resulted into. You're probably gonna be like, what the shit? If your product is $70 average order, you had 100 purchases, that's seven grand, bitch. What? Okay, so I know for me at least, it is actually a pretty, it's, it's a lot of money. You guys probably don't give a shit, but like I definitely did not come from a ton of money growing up. Like I remember going to dance lessons or like extracurricular activities at school was really hard for my family. It's so weird. Like I am an entrepreneur, but I hate money. <laughs> it's like such a fucking weird thing. And I'm just coming to the terms that money is not evil or a bad thing because in reality, we're actually not making that much. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people just need to hear this straight up. Revenue is not profit. Okay, so here's my business lesson of the day that you literally need to hear if you are judging or have any curiosity in business, you need to get this through your head. Revenue is the total amount of income generated by the sale of goods or services. Profit is basically revenue minus expenses. Now for this launch specifically, we did get lucky. We did do a print on demand, which meant that we didn't have like overhead, but we still had to pay a huge portion to the product. We had to pay taxes. We had to pay people that are a part of our team and employees, right? And contracted work. We had to pay Mr. Shopify, who does take a transaction out of each purchase. We had to also pay PayPal or any other merchant that was involved with this. And for the text message marketing and any videos that Natalie had to pay to make the content, we also had to come to account. So what I'm trying to say is we obviously didn't make seven grand. Most companies, if you've ever seen them have a million dollars, don't make a million dollars. You would be surprised how much I really walk away with. And I'm going to tell you guys what we walked away with. So if revenue minus expenses equals profit, our revenue was seven grand. Our expenses came to around five, six grand. And we're still counting because I still need to pay Mr. Government taxes. So that basically leaves our profit around $1,500. That's still a lot of money. And I'm so, so grateful for it. I'm actually going to be straight up. Most companies don't even make money. It's very rare to even make 10 or 20%. Like I'm saying these numbers because I'm actually like surprised we did make money because I've definitely launched other brands that literally went negative. A great example of this is Amazon. Amazon wasn't literally profitable till around a few years ago. Basically, they were bleeding money. <laughs> Most companies don't make a single dime. WeWork actually is probably a horrible example because they're going through some dog shit, but WeWork is a space rental company and they're losing around, I believe, $3 million a day. Yikes! I'm not joking. We can literally Google this shit. How much does WeWork lose a day? WeWork is losing $219,000 hourly. 
And what I've seen just so often is a lot of people give up or get a lot of impatience for their launches. And trust me, I've been there. Another launch I just did last week went negative, like a couple thousand dollars. So yeah, most companies don't make money. And the next time you see a company that made a billion dollars, they're most likely bleeding money. And I know that's super weird, but that's actually how the economy works. The more risk you take, the more you're gonna see you in return. And let me tell you, this is all by faith. We don't actually know by spending money, you're gonna make more money because of that, right? So, so many entrepreneurs are taking massive risks and I hope this empowers you to take more risks. And again, not do it for the money. If you take more risks and you create a product you genuinely believe in, you get to work with amazing people and build a product that helps others. And that's what's worth it. Since you're here, I do wanna give you guys a huge thank you for being here. Go text my phone number. I'm gonna link it in the description box. I'm gonna give away a few Dharma Nation stickers. I basically created these stickers like two years ago and I only have like 25 of them left. So if you want one for free, just text me and I'll pick a few you guys for some free stickers. I just appreciate you so much for being here. Literally, you've seen me make zero dollars. You've seen me make negative dollars and you've seen me make some, some money here. But I, I really appreciate you for being here because I would not be able to just share the story, meet Natalie without you guys. I want to thank you, Dharma Nation, for being so sweet to me. And yeah, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner yeah yeah comment below i'll catch you guys in the next video make sure you check out the description box and if you're new here and you want to learn more about what the fuck i do i'll put some links in the description box about my bio my companies and i'd love to work with you in the future if you are an influencer or creator so yeah thank you so much for watching this series and here's a sneak peek to season two